digging. That's when they hit the wood at the first level. Oh, really? So Oak Island, so they... And it was covered in clay to waterproof it. Oh, interesting. Okay, and I, I'm watching them do all this, and they went to Spain, and then they went to France, and they showed them different ideas of the Knights Templar mm -hmm. on this deal that they had made that had a spiral staircase around the outside of it, which was 13 feet wide, I think, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was, had nine levels on it. Hmm. Well, the place in Spain had nine levels on it. It was 13 feet across. Interesting. So I started thinking about that, and I'm going... Wait a minute. Where we were getting gold at the Adams Diggins, uh -huh. where the two uh, streams came together, right there on that little knoll, there was a tree with a big branch sticking out. And there was something that went on that branch. Uh -huh. You could never figure out what was on the branch. But we were always getting gold at the bottom right there. Uh huh. So I always figured, and, that, and then I started thinking, well, there's a shaft there. Because down from there is where I found that Spanish beam mm -hmm. from there so interesting so so they could have had yeah a hoist on that branch uh, um, i always thought it was a shaker yeah but or i don't think it was a shaker now. Or, or they might have had something to lift boulders up out of the hole that wouldn't do you much good if it's right. just in one spot for general plastering it would need to be kind of up and down the creek banks wow. so um so it makes more sense that it would be yeah for something like a, a shaft or something like that. I mean, something leaves a mark on a tree in this country. The tree doesn't go anywhere for a long time. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> the Spanish uh, stirrup. Yeah. I found that right on the other side of that. Oh, really? So that area. The Spanish stirrup. Plus, I found an old iron pot mm -hmm. this side of it. Interesting. There's a lot of action going on there. Right there. Old action. And how far away is that, that zone where you said when it rains it got green? Uh, within a half a mile. Yeah, that's pretty close. And we got five ounces per ton, almost pure gold out of, oh, out of uh, Granite Mountain, mm -hmm. which is right there. And is that orange? Remember, I was telling you off, off High Camp Mountain mm -hmm. that uh, there's a dike running with High Camp Mountain, mm -hmm. and it runs down to Mandolin Valley, what I named it. Okay. But when you get down there, the dike's not there anymore. And then I hiked around there and looked around for a long time to find it. But maybe 600, 800 yards downstream, you can find the dike continuing up that side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. that Mandolin Valley is a fault, and it went like this. I see. Yeah. And moved the whole thing. That's why Granite Mountain and that... That runs through Granite Mountain. That's why Granite Mountain goes like this, and then it goes up like this because there's a dike through there. Mm. How far do you think the throw is? That you know, how far do you think it it slid things? Eight hundred. Eight hundred feet. Yards. 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 Okay, that's and quite that's a ways. Where, that's where all the <laughs> when you line up the the uh, springs. Oh, yep. The the springs are all on that fault, all the way down through north of Daddle. Yep. They're all through there on that fault. That's the main fault that runs through there. Yeah, it's pretty interesting following springs. I I got that advice a long time ago and didn't think much of it at the time. And now I, I'm a I'm a big believer. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to follow the, the springs, especially what, if they line up. What Andy used to tell us, he said, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. There's not enough ground movement. To have mineralization, you have to have ground movement. And I found all this ground. 800 movement. yards. <laughs> I found all this ground movement, all these dikes, 14 feet across, 20 feet across. Wow. And uh, th that's not enough. Yeah. Well, but he's only up there one day, and I think plus you said, right? we were right? getting mercury out of it. And right. Out of the green stuff down there. That's why I asked about how far away that was. Yeah. I mean, that's close, all pretty crazy. Close. <laughs> but the big question still is, where did the beam come from? Right. It was a Spanish cut beam. And it had squares, pegs in it. Mm-hmm. It did. I, I'm. I don't. I don't know. But maybe it came from right there. Well, there's no no big timber right at that area, is there? Used to be. Oh, there used to be. There was a blight in the early in the 30s. Uh huh. And it killed off all the pines, but that used to be covered in pines. Pines. Right okay. now, there's a bunch of big ones still left in there, hmm. but not near what there used to be. There was a beetle that came through and killed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was more like uh, juniper country. But, yeah, 
Okay. There's junipers there, but there's big pines. Mm-hmm. Used to be whole mountains full of pines. You get up in uh, what do they call it? Uh, it's it's high pine country. North of that, uh, it's on the ranch. Mm-hmm. It's all pines. You know, uh, they had a they used to have a a mill back up in there. And oh, really? A mill? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, that, were that'll tell it. Really yeah. working it. But it just, it makes you wonder. Well, that's pretty neat. Well, I mean, the Spanish bean part, that's not in your book, is it? I think it is. Oh, you? Oh, yeah, I don't remember reading that. So, interesting. I could have just See, forgot. And we, we were driving by it, and I just, I looked at it, and went, wow, what the hell is that? And then I got out, and it, it was half buried. Oh, uh-huh. On the side of the mountain right there. And it, it's got me think. I used to think it just was washed in from further up or something. But now I'm starting to think it was right there all along. right. Yeah, I mean, if it got buried in and no gully washers came, it, it could stay there for a long time. Yeah, but it wasn't in the gully. Oh, it wasn't? It oh. was on the side of the gully. It was probably about 10 foot up on the side. Okay. Right there south of the... Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, Not Chavez. No, it's... Old Canyon, but there's another name for it, a newer name. Medley? Huh? Medley? Medley. Yeah. If Medley, I think Medley was the one that homesteaded that canyon. Mm-hmm. And that's why they call it Medley's Cabin. So mm-hmm. that's where we found all the horseshoes and everything. We must have found 100 horseshoes in that collect stuff that, you know, they, they wanted the cards. They wanted the important stuff. Yeah. Oh, the cards, huh? And they're probably mm-hmm. lost and burned by now i mean that's the thing that's why you got to give it to somebody who cares and so they take care of it and curate it the the right way yeah that's i've still got the can that the cards were in oh you got the can though yeah. okay that's cool all right well this was this uh little mine here is a surprise it's definitely not on any any official map so let's keep going